Okay, this is the pattern you want to make. Um, it's six by three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. And I'd start going around the outside and then start putting these loops in. That one, that one, that, and then that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. That one. And then put these loops in, and that one in the middle. These should be lines, these should be arcs, but these should probably be splines. Okay. So we've loaded pattern CAD. <coughs> Excuse me. You want snap to grid on, you want draw, you want to turn off the line space, <coughs> but you want to have continuous lines on. Let's put in, let's start in the middle here, and I'm going to come out over three here. So I had to, I had to drag that one over, but from here on in we should just be able to click on the squares. So coming over to six. Okay. So that's our outer box drawn. Now we want to put this loop in. This is going to be an arc, so we need to change our line type to arc. So I'm just going to click in the corner there. And if I press space now, it goes into edit mode and I get and I get my node here and I can just pull that up one. Right, press space again and it goes back to draw. So I now click over here. Press space, come here, press space. Now I want to come over here, press space, come back here, space, space again, over here, space, space. Here, space. Here, space. Whoops, hang on there. No. I meant to come back. Come back, come back, come back. Right. So I want to come over here. I've forgotten this one. Okay. Right now, <coughs> excuse me. Now look here. I'm really wanting to join on to to this arc. So let's come back and have a look where we want to join on. Let's go there. And I'm going to come here. Well, no, actually, let's come back. I said I wanted this to be spline, so we change it to spline, and then we come up here. There. 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 And then there. So we're finished. Now, if we're going to edit, I want to select these ones here, because these are the splines. These have got two. Uh, squares where the arc has one. So if we look over here, we really want it to have a shallow curve at the bottom, really. So let's come back here. Let's turn off snap to grid because that will make it easier. Something like that. And then the top, we wanted a uh, shallow at the top but deeper at the bottom. So uh, just pull in the bottom one. Same with that one. It's looking about right. Okay. Now if we unhighlight those. And just play with this spline here. 
we want a sort of S-y curve in there, but starting to go that way. something like that now if we're lucky well let's now unselect those if we zoom in we can move that onto the line so we'll just drag that out over there so we're on that line and the same that side yeah now if we're going to optimize if we're lucky if we do remove all, we click OK. I think that's not bad from, from where you were. So you can then save that and play with it. So that's how I would draw, draw your pattern. But uh, good luck and Fingers crossed.